Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shraddha Deshpande, and so today I'm going to be reviewing two products that were recently launched by Dior. So these two products are none other than the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Sequin Liquid Lipsticks, and these are limited edition lipsticks that Dior launches during the festive holiday collection. And the Rouge um, and and the Dior Forever Skin Perfect foundation stick. This is a newly launched foundation by Dior. I couldn't review the foundation as soon as it launched. When I went to purchase the foundation, I couldn't get my shade because I felt the other shades were a bit darker for my skin. So Dior Forever foundation comes in 14 shades and um, I picked this up in the shade 3N. So first we're going to start with um, Last time Dior came out with these sequin liquid lipsticks, I couldn't get my hands on them. But this time, I just hope I didn't miss out on any shades from last time. But this time, I picked this up in the shade 893 Masquerade. I like the shade, but I feel it's a bit dark for my skin. So let's just see how this turns out to be. And I heard quite a lot of um, backlash on this sequin liquid lipstick a few of the people like them so i'm just gonna try it out myself and see how this goes inside for myself let's start with reviewing the dior forever skin perfect foundation stick this foundation comes in 14 shades i picked this up in the shade 3n so uh, i'm just gonna quickly show you guys and unbox the foundation it comes in this cute little box and this is the way the foundation looks on the inside so when i unbox the foundation for the first time i pulled it quite hard like like this and uh turns out that there is a way you can like refill this when i unbox this foundation i kind of like pulled it quite hard and it ended up just coming out so i i'm guessing so i'm guessing that this foundation is refillable use the foundation like i swatched the foundation before and uh i'm just going to try it out on my face so this is the way the foundation looks and I'm just going to show you the texture of the foundation. I just want to see how it is. Oh my god, it's so soft. It feels really soft, it feels really creamy and usually a stick foundation would be full coverage. So let's see if this gives full or medium coverage. But I like the texture of the foundation, it's really soft. So Dior describes this foundation to be a long-lasting foundation. It has buildable coverage. It has a creamy formula with a natural finish. So Dior claims it to be versatile enough to be a full coverage foundation as well. Even mean, for spot concealing, for contouring, depending on the shade that you choose. I'm going to straight up apply this foundation to my skin. And oh my god. And oh my god. I just feel that this is one of the foundations that just... It's truly meant for my skin tone because I've never had a foundation that has been like a spot on match for my skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and just blend it out with a beauty blender. Initially, I was going to pick this up in the shade 4N, but on the website, the shade looked really dark for my skin. So I picked it up. Uh, I had an option to pick it up in 3.5 or 3, but I got it in 3 because even 3.5 seemed a bit dark. As for the charts on the website, so this is really easy to blend and I like the shade of the foundation. As I blended the foundation, I just can't help notice but how easy to blend this foundation is. I like the texture of the foundation. It's really creamy but it's still soft matte. So when it's settled on my face, I don't notice too much of um, the foundation coming off on my hands. Because usually when there's a creamy foundation, especially in a stick form and you rub your and there is a little bit of residue of the foundation that ends up coming on your hand, which is not the case with this. I don't think that this is going to move from where I've applied it. I really like the shade 3N because it has a nice neutral natural undertone to it. I am a warm undertone person, but I prefer using natural tones because it kind of helps and evens my undertone of my makeup. So I prefer wearing natural undertones more than warmer undertones. But I like the shade of the foundation. It's a perfect spot on match for my skin. I'm just sort of grateful that I didn't pick up 4 or 3.5. I feel it would be way dark for my skin. But initially it offered like a medium coverage. But I want to try this out. And I'm going to apply a little bit on my under eye to see if in case I 
just have this foundation with me how this would just blend my under eye as well so usually i'm not the one to apply foundation under my eye but i want to see how this one goes because it says i can use it to spot correct because it's a stick foundation but just want to see if i can just use this all by itself and not use a concealer when i'm using this foundation and it absolutely looks stunning on my skin i feel if ever i don't need to wear a concealer it would be with this foundation i would just wear this foundation all by itself leo claims that this foundation has 24 hour wear with hydration and buildable coverage so i think this is supposed to be a long lasting foundation but i want to put it to test and see how long this foundation lasts because i've got combination skin and i just want to see if i ever sweat out how soon or how quicker i sweat out because even it's a stick foundation i don't feel it's too drying on my skin even though it's a soft matte finish and um i don't feel i don't feel it's too creamy it is creamy but it's the right type of creamy that won't budge your makeup and more than anything else i like that it's given me a nice even skin and it also has covered up the redness that i have on my chin and around my cheeks as well so it kind of evens out your skin tone and i don't think personally i don't think i would wear concealer with this foundation because i just like how it sits on my skin it gives the most natural finish for me so this foundation is like a 10 on 10 for me at the moment this is a shade match was absolutely spot on for me i don't think there has been any other foundation that has come so close to my shade also um the surprising thing is that i have a dior forever concealer that i have bought in the shade 4n which is quite surprising because this foundation is in the shade 3n so when you guys pick up this foundation make sure that you check with the images that have been there on the Dior website because um, I think the shades are different for this particular foundation range and they also come in like 14 shades which is a pretty less number because um, so it's quite surprising that the foundation was a spot match for me but this is my absolute favorite right now now let's move to the Rouge Dior liquid sequin lipstick this is Dior's limited edition lipstick range that they only launched during the holiday collection and everyone knows that but I'm still going to mention it because it's holiday collection and it's a limited edition piece so if I were you I would just go and grab these so I picked this up in the shade 893 masquerade and you can see it's a really pretty deep plummy lipstick but I kind of thought that this would be a little bit lighter because usually lighter plum lipsticks like they look really they look purple on me but this looks nice like I mean I think it has a little bit of brown in it that's why but usually plum lipsticks don't look good on me they look quite purple so this is the way it looks on the inside and apparently they say you apply it you let it dry and then you rub your lips till the glitter comes out but looking at the Looking at the liquid lipstick bottle, I feel, I feel that there is glitter as I apply it. I think it will intensify more after I, after I rub my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the shade directly on my face because I don't want to swatch it on my hand. Oh. This is just so out of my comfort zone. This is not a shade that I would pick usually, but since it's sequin and it's festive so there is a little bit of sequin already to this application i can see it but it's not that evident so i'm just going to zoom in a bit to so if body is a bit closer to me and you i hope it's visible there is a little bit of sequin when you apply it like a little bit of shimmer i would say not even sequin so i all you have to do is now wait for some time and then just rub the lips and there will there'll be more sequin. I just can't wait for this to dry. So Dior apparently claims this liquid lipstick to be long lasting and transfer proof. So let's just see if this lives up to the hype but I just can't wait for the sequin anymore. I'm kind of liking the shade because it's just that perfect deep plum and it's not looking purple on me but more than that I like the fact that the formula is really creamy and lightweight 
because usually when you see sequin or any glitter liquid lipsticks or even lipsticks they feel really heavy and they feel crumbly on the lips because it has glitter in it but this doesn't feel like that at all because even though i can see sequin or these little shimmer particles in it 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 still just doesn't feel that crumbly glittery or that rough uh, texture that usually a glitter lipstick would give now is the time to rub my lips so i'm just going to you just need a mirror can you guys see it i don't know if the camera can pick it up but it looks amazing i and 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 it has matching glitter it like this so i'm just going to rub my lips again the sequin in this lipstick is light but it's not too overpowering at the same time i like the shade and the sequin matches the color almost because it has a nice deep plum liquid lipstick with almost like deep brown shimmer so it doesn't look too over the top as well i would like to wear the shade especially in the evening because i don't think this is a daytime shade at all you just have to rub your lips once it's dry so i kind of heard a lot of backlash for this liquid lipstick when it launched last year because the sequin was a bit crumbly and it just didn't settle right but i think with me it settled quite evenly all around my lips I like the fact that when you wear it it's really light and when you when it settles down it's quite I think only the sequin transfers a bit like that when I wore it it had a nice light liquidy texture but when it settles down it settles down to me a, like a true matte finish so they say it's a transfer proof lipstick but I am just not quite convinced because the glitter just transfers a little bit so maybe it's not dried down quite a lot right now but definitely I feel there is a little bit of transfer you just need to dry it a little bit more but i just wouldn't recommend rubbing your lips too much if you're wearing this liquid lipstick because it just might transfer so my final thoughts are that i love the foundation i i'm just i just can't get over the fact that it's an absolute shade match for my skin and i like that it's versatile i can just carry it anywhere because it's a stick foundation i think and i like the fact that i can use it for any on the go makeup touch ups as well it stays matte it doesn't just budge at all and it gives a really nice soft matte finish to my skin and the sequin liquid lipstick is the absolute show stopper for me i love the shade it applies really well dries down but the only thing i'm not sure about is if it's you like if it's even like transfer proof because i'm going to do it again in front of you guys and i can see there is a little bit of transfer so i don't think it's that long lasting because of the sequin for all both these dior products impressed me quite well and all the links are mentioned down in the description below if you guys tried the product and if you guys have any questions then do not forget to mention it down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up And if you guys are new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more beauty reviews and makeup tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in another makeup video.